Hi, I'm Letitia Esty, and you're watching the weekly Jump Off TV newscast. Eve has joined the growing list of US rap stars to get into car-related troubles as she crashed their Maserati on Hollywood Boulevard in the early hours of Thursday morning. Arrested on the spot for driving under the influence of alcohol, Eve had just left a nightclub in LA and was driving with two friends, wearing high heels, and was apparently double the alcohol limit. Shortly after Eve arrived at LA County Jail, she received a mysterious visit from a Mr. Sean Penn, who was quick to leave as he noticed the paparazzi had begun to arrive. Eve was released hours later on $30,000 bail and is set to appear in court in May. Snoop Dogg, who was due to perform at the MTV Australian Music Video Awards in Sydney, was denied a visa by Federal Immigration Minister Kevin Andrews. This comes only weeks after Snoop was banned from entering the UK. Mr Andrews said Snoop's been a member of and is still associated with a Los Angeles gang that's been involved in murder, robberies and drug dealing. Snoop was warned when he last visited Australia in February that any further indiscretions would make it difficult for him to perform in the country. Snoop's lawyer, Donald Etra, denied Snoop had any affiliation with LA gang, the Crips. Now in its third week, the Don Imus nappy-headed hose incident continues to dominate headlines in the US and bizarrely the focus is still on rap lyrics. Russell Simmons, coincidentally also promoting his new book, Do You, appeared on Fox News with Bill O'Reilly and on CNN with Anderson Cooper, calling for a ban on the words ho, bitch and the n-word. He asked that broadcasters and record companies voluntarily remove, bleep or delete the words from music. The n-word bleeped out here is used in many hip-hop lyrics, but now hip-hop mogul Russell Simmons says enough. That word and two others, he says, should be on par with extreme curse words. We think that we can say it today, bitch and hoe, and also the N-word, which you don't say often, but could say if you wanted, be taken off the airway. Imus was fired following his use of offensive language describing the Rutgers women's basketball team. The outcry prompted hip-hop lyrics to once again go under the microscope. But I want to know why you and Al have called for the N-word and the other words to be banished. I think all this I can't time. believe I wrote this statement, and it was, it's very clear in the statement that I'm asking that what we give to mainstream radio and television be be uh, we, we edit and delete those words for mainstream consumption. Why? I do not want to censor the artists. No, but why all. do you want those particular words Because out? I think that children and parents and everyone else who doesn't really understand the hip-hop community should have a choice. The National Association for the Advancement of Colored People have launched a stop campaign seeking to enhance the portrayal of African-American women in hip-hop videos. Many rap artists have also begun to speak out on the incident, with the majority claiming hip-hop is once again being used as a scapegoat. After being put on blast in last week's Oprah Town Hall, Snoop has requested a chance to defend himself on the popular daytime chat show. In an interview with MTV, T.I. says people should worry about Bush, not rap lyrics, and blames the bad parenting. While Fat Joe insisted that Don Imus is not influenced by hip-hop music. Meanwhile, Chameleon Air has boasted how none of his songs have ever included the word ho or bitch. The debate continues around the world. The Roots drummer Questlove posted his recent ordeal at an airport on his MySpace blog on Monday before the media even had a chance to publicise the story. On a flight out of Buffalo, Questlove describes his nightmare as possibly the most humiliating hour of his life, but fails to really give the details. Following the events of 9-11, if you purchase a ticket within 24 hours of takeoff, you're flagged as a security risk. So Quest was stopped by security who then found he was carrying six-figure cash amounts in various currencies. When the Drug Enforcement Administration were called in, they questioned his credibility as a Grammy Award-winning artist and not finding a picture of Quest in the latest XXL, they asked him to drop his pants. Understandably, Quest doesn't break down the details of exactly what happened next with his pants down, but he did just make the flight. Looks like snitching on yourself on a blog may well be the best way to kill the media. Read the full Quest blog on MySpace slash Questlove. In other news, Rockaware is suing a store in Redondo Beach, Los Angeles for allegedly selling replica jewellery with the Rock logo. Since their very public and disruptive split in 2004, Chingy is back with Ludacris at DTP. This comes on the same week that Shauna left the Disturbing the Peace family. Philadelphia's Gangster Grills mixtape king DJ Drama may be forced to change his name after a Chicago-based DJ Drama claims he had the name first.
Eminem and manager Paul Rosenberg are in negotiations to lease and operate Detroit St Andrews Hall Complex in conjunction with owners Live Nation. The basement shelter room is home to many early Eminem performances and the battle scenes in 8 Mile. 13th pick in the 2004 NBA draft and star of Through the Fire, Sebastian Telfair, was dropped from the Boston Celtics on Tuesday following his arrest for gun possession. After pulling him over for speeding, police found a loaded 45 caliber handgun under the front passenger seat of his 2006 Range Rover. New York's Hot 97 announced the lineup for Summer Jam 2007 on Thursday with what they're touting as the biggest hip hop concert in the world. I wonder if they'll be bleeping out hoes, bitches, and the N word. Check the Jump Off blog or hot97.com for the full lineup. Cameron issued a written apology for advocating the Stop Snitching campaign, saying, I in no way was intending to be malicious or harmful. And finally, since the UK's Amy Winehouse took the US charts by storm with her Back to Black album reaching number seven, Jay-Z, Nas, Jim Jones and Farrah Munch have all begun collaboration talks with a 23-year-old. You can keep up to date daily with all the news and gossip on jumpoff.tv. Please leave comments below or on slash newscast. If you've got a message just for me, go to jumpoff.tv slash Letitia SD. I'm Letitia SD and that was this week's newscast. The Australian music. <laughs> the music video. Boards in Sydney. <clears throat> the portrayal of a American Quest Love describes his bollocks. So I'm just having an itch. He's selling reclip. They're disturbing the feast, feast family. I know, I know, I know. It's okay. Police found a. Police found a loaded. I did it again. Of all begun collaborations. And Mm. That you're such a pervert. <laughs> no Toro for you. Yeah. All right.